Hi guys. It is a gorgeous morning here in the end times in paradise. Somewhere in the middle of the Adirondack Mountains. Where I'm absolutely amazed to hear a bird, a woodpecker, breaking the silent summer of this cool August morning. Friday, August 10th, 2018. So I have not... How long has it been since we've checked in with our old buddy and Alert Tribes member, All Raw Paul? Since Andy Gardner seems to have abandoned the tribe, did Andy die in a heat stroke, perhaps, in, over there in Zombie Island? We're going to let All Raw Paul take over for Andy Gardner for a minute here. This is Paul's... I guess his response to my recent interview with Stuart Scott uh, over there from his YouTube channel, Climate Matters. And Stuart was somewhat reluctant to make a prediction about what the planet will look like in uh, 25 years. I was actually saying, well, it's 2050, which is 32 years. Stuart was uh, a little reluctant, but uh, Paul has no such reticence. So he is going to give us his opinion of what planet Earth will look like in 25 years. 25 years. In the year 2043. <clears throat> Take it away, all raw Paul. I am not afraid to predict the future based on climate science and current social trends. No meaningful climate mitigation will have occurred because of irreparable political corruption. The Arctic Ocean will be mostly ice-free, I'm assuming he's talking year-round, and outgassing gigatons of methane. The permafrost will be reduced by 70% and all of its CO2 will be in the atmosphere. The Earth will have warmed at least 10 C from pre-industrial times. 10 degrees Celsius. And guys, simply because I'm reading this, I'm not agreeing necessarily. I'm just sharing the comment. So according to... The way Paul is reading climate science and current social trends, the Earth will have warmed at least 10 C from pre-industrial times by the year 2043. The forest will all have burned down. The oceans will be dead from overheating, CO2 injection, and plastic poisoning. Didn't mention overfishing in your list there, Paul. Civilization will have collapsed utterly. Eight billion humans will be dead from starvation, radiation, anarchy, and war. All of the world's nuclear facilities will have burned up. Almost all wildlife will be extinct. Even the Norway rat will be on the verge of dying out. Only a few doomed humans will remain in bunkers. The earth will be uninhabitable, a burned out radioactive wasteland. This future, meaning this 25 year future, cannot be avoided. Runaway global warming is well underway and it is irreversible. Humans are an unsustainable species. Everything humans do degrades and destroys the biosphere. There is no cure for the plague of humans. In my view, there is no point in trying to prevent human extinction, the universe will be a better place without us. And then Dick Hamilton chimes in, oh come on, don't get too cheery. 
it'll be worse than that. Yes, and then D, uh, weighing in, perfectly summarize, and yes, we are a cancer for this planet. The only thing is, the above mentioned things will happen a lot sooner. Huh, a lot sooner uh, than 2043. And then Dick Hamilton weighing in again. After the ice, after the ice in the north is gone and the methane is blowing from the no longer permafrost, even the early stages of the resulting chaotic climate will do much to alleviate the problem of too many people. <clears throat> There will be food shortages and much murder and mayhem. At the, pro at the present moment, this can still be reversed. Dick, would you please uh, write in and share your ideas on how at the present moment this can still be reversed. But by then, after the ice in the north is gone, I assume he's talking about no. There will be no change until people are dying by the thousands every day. Too late. And then all uh, Sister Sandy has to say to all raw Paul is, sounds about right. <laughs> sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Well... Even your old doomsday prophet is not prophesizing 10 degrees C by the year 2043. But uh, that's a perfect segue into this article. I'm getting ready to read from the BBC that my, uh, that my sister sent me uh, titled climate change, hot house earth risks even if CO2 emissions slashed. And I'm going to make that a separate rant. Coming right up. Bye guys.